This is the end goal. This, folks, is where you want to be. So all that rough, tough stuff that you guys watch on Holton Wise TV, I don't want you guys to watch that stuff and get discouraged. Like, oh, man, that was horrible. I don't want to deal with that. Folks, that's not the idea. The idea is you go and you listen to me talk to you here today about this opportunity, but I need you to understand what it takes to get to this place. What does it take to get to $6,427.50 a month, right? Getting through all that stuff to get to the finish line, folks. It's like winning the friggin' Super Bowl, all right? Y'all get to see the guy play on Sunday for three hours, but you don't see all the work that is put in 365 days a year. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. If you guys watch any amount of the content we're putting out here on Holton Wise TV, you'll hear us talking a lot about Section 8 investing in a lot of the lower income neighborhoods, a lot of the cash flow markets in the USA, right? We're all throughout Ohio here, right? Holton Wise, we do deals Toledo, Columbus, Cincinnati, Dayton, Akron, Canton. In Cleveland, okay? A lot of deals in Cleveland. Cleveland's where we got our stuff started. Now, what I pride myself on is presenting you guys with the most accurate information into what you're getting into, right? If you watch any of our clips and our highlights that we put out on all Holton Wise TV social media channels, right? TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, like Twitter, we're even on Truth Social, uh, the new Twitter, which is like, well, the old Twitter is not even Twitter. The old Twitter is X. The new Twitter is is like threads. But we're everywhere, right? So wherever you, uh, you know, like to watch your clips and stuff, we put out a ton of content about Section 8. And a lot of it, folks, is the perils of Section 8. And just how difficult Section 8 is, right? We think it's incredibly important for you guys to get an understanding into how difficult Section 8 investing can actually be, right? Because it'd be very easy to get on here and just tell you guys about how friggin' rich Section 8 has made us, okay? That's easy. A lot of people do that. And I look at those people, you know, kind of one-eyed, like, yo, bro, are you telling the truth? Are you fluffing stuff? Are you lying? Why are you hiding what the business is really like? Because there are two things that can be true. Number one, you can get filthy friggin' rich investing in Section A properties, especially in Cleveland, Ohio. I've done it. But the second thing that is true is it's very, very difficult. So I like to show y'all the good with the bad. So if you're looking for an honest take on this business, Definitely make sure you're subscribing or following to Holton Wise TV to see what happens on a daily basis, right? Because all of those problems that I think are very important for you guys to know about, we put up with all those problems to get to where I'm at today, to present to you the opportunity I have for you today. This is a Section 8 success story. This is something that's been a pain in my ass for the better part of a decade, and now it is rocking and rolling how it should be. The property, 2210 Montclair, Cleveland, 44109. This is a fully occupied eight-unit apartment building. I bought this thing with partners probably like 10 years ago, right? And if y'all have ever done any JV deals or partnership deals, uh, partnership deals are a little difficult sometimes because sometimes not all the partners are on the same page with the plans for the property. And when we bought this thing, man, there was a a lot of stuff we had to, to, to fix up. And, like, you know, we went through a few years uh, uh, of constant turnover getting this thing uh, fully subsidized and, and just producing a huge cash flow for us, right? Uh, it took a while to, to turn everything around because we bought it in a distressed situation. And when we took it over, dude, there was a lot of rough stuff in there. Like, we had one unit which was literally a whorehouse. Like it was, there was actually, uh, they were running a whorehouse on one of the units. And uh, it's actually very difficult in the city of Cleveland to evict tenants for anything other than not paying their rent, right? So you would think uh, running an actual 
Uh, sex dungeon out of an apartment is an easy eviction case. Unfortunately, in theory it is, uh, but in reality, that's actually kind of hard uh, to get those cases pushed through and actually get the tenants removed and stuff. And they were causing such havoc for some of the other tenants. We actually had to hire off-duty Cleveland police officers to run security on the weekends uh, because I don't know how familiar y'all are with sex dungeons, uh, but like the, the sex parties much more popular, you know, it's much more busy on the weekends. It's kind of like a bar, right? Friday, Saturday, those are the big days, right? Uh, same thing with whorehouses, okay? So the weekends especially, we had to get um, actual off-duty police officers to run security till we were able to get all that stuff out. Uh, but fast forward today, right? Got all the partners on the same page. We put in the money that was necessary uh, to get every unit up to snuff, to get all the capital expenditures taken care of, to get eight government subsidized tenants, eight quality tenants who all have their rent guaranteed by the government, okay? We are almost at market rent for everybody too, right? Like the max I'm getting for my one bedrooms here, uh, the highest that Section 8 has given me so far is 825 and then 88750 uh, for my two beds. I got four ones and four twos in here, right? So you can see uh, we're very close to that maximum amount, right? All these tenants were put in at various times and, you know, you have to actually like apply uh, to raise their rent. So we keep up with our rents uh, pretty closely. Not everybody is at pure market rent per the dollar. I mean, you got, you can't just change the rent in the middle of a lease term. We always do 12 months lease, things of that nature, but we're very close, right? Uh, if you take my max rent for each of the ones and each of the twos, we're looking at 6,850 a month. Currently right now, as it sits on day one of you buying this thing for me, you can get 6,427.50. And all the capital expenditures, everything, right? We've gone through this building, Really positioned it to be fucking rocking and rolling turnkey for y'all. Newer mechanicals, newer everything. Lead certification. Do you all even know what that is? That's a big thing in Cleveland. Already taken care of for you. You got nothing to worry about. This apartment building, this is what you deal with all that bad stuff for, guys. This is the end goal. This, folks is where you want to be. So all that rough, tough stuff that you guys watch on Holton Wise TV, I don't want you guys to watch that stuff and get discouraged. Like, oh, man, that was horrible. I don't want to deal with that. Folks, that's not the idea. The idea is you go and you listen to me talk to you here today about this opportunity, but I need you to understand what it takes to get to this place. What does it take to get to 6427 a month, right? Getting through all that stuff to get to the finish line, folks. It's like winning the friggin' Super Bowl, all right? Y'all get to see the guy play on Sunday for three hours, but you don't see all the work that is put in 365 days a year with the trainers and the dieting and the physical therapy and getting over to surgeries and the nonstop repetition that like a superstar athlete has to put in, right? It's the same thing here. There is just so much stuff you got to weed through to get to the finish line. And right now here for y'all today, this is a fully subsidized turnkey eight unit apartment. These are very rare in Cleveland. Be rocking and rolling like this. It could be yours for three ninety nine nine. If you'd like to submit an offer, send it to my team, sales at holtonweiss.com. Cash offers preferred. Financed offers are totally fine. When you send me an email, be like, yo, I'm interested in buying your Montclair building. My offer is going to be four hundred k. I'll pay cash. Here's my proof of funds. Or I'll finance it. Here's my lender's information. I imagine, y'all, I'm going to have multiple offers on this. So if I were you, I wouldn't waste my time with a lowball. I wouldn't be like, yo, man, 340. Because I'm, pro I'm probably just going to ignore you, bro. I'm just going to ignore you. I'm like, man, I remember I had to sit there and hire me some damn police officers to kick all the damn hookers and pimps out of my property. And this some bitch thinks he can come off of YouTube and just offer me $320,000 for all my hard work? Nah! I ain't going to have that, y'all, so I'm probably not going to answer that person, right? So reasonable offers at or above lift price, most likely, um, right there. Send them to sales at holdwise.com. If you want to do your due diligence, uh, that's fine. You guys can get in. You guys can inspect the building, but that's only after uh, an offer 
is accepted, we go under contract, okay, and we get your earnest money. Need to make sure y'all are serious. And then as far as who handles the management after the fact, that's totally up to you. If you're out of state and you want my team to continue managing it on your behalf, no problem. We can do that. If you're local or even if you're out of state and you just have a different property manager and you want to take over the management after the fact, that's totally fine with me too, folks. All I need you to do for right now, though, is submit those offers to sales at HoltonWise.com and let's get you cashing in on that government guarantee rent. So if you're cool with it, we'll just come in yeah, real quick. And then real quick. You can just pretend we're not even here. Yeah. They gotta get the, the furnace. Oh, sorry, Kay. I scared you. And so those are in the units, usually somewhere. Right there. I don't know if that's a box. Ah, yes. Yeah. So that's the box. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, just very characterized. We got shit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have been here for a while, too. Yeah. So. And then being here for a while, there's not a lot of room. That's the only thing. More storage Stuff would be nice. Up. I yes. hear you. I hear you. And then five years of being here, you can't really put anything anywhere. Yeah, you run out of, run out of space. Especially with a five-year-old or an eight-year-old, too. My oh, God. yeah, the older they get, more toys. More shit. Christmas, yes. more shit. Yeah, I get it. Slip behind you here. Do you need any lights on there? Come on. No, I just need the color balance. Okay. Shrink. I feel like we'll go down because I already knocked on hers. Yeah, she's we're, like waiting for us. Yeah. Right what she did is probably she went to go get her kid from school. Probably when they switched to the uh, electric stoves. Oh, I forgot my. Oh, well. I know it doesn't look that clean, dude. We tried, dude. It's all old it. shit. It's all old shit. Have you dude. seen the other videos that we tried? Dude, dude <laughs> I watch your guys' eviction videos. Yeah. Dude. You've seen, seen, seen some of this shit. Look at my daughter. Look, so that's the kind of thing since you're here. I wanted to point it out. Like, <laughs> see, look at the carpet right here. Oh, there she goes. Look at the carpet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just like minor shit from the cats. My daughter's a little messy, but, you oh. know. Bro, this is this is. We've been here for five years, dude. I know. Yeah. You know so it's like I can we try, dude. We floor. try. Like you know how many rooms I go into, and I'm like, hey, there's more garbage than there is floor. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we appreciate the cooperation. Oh, we could turn the slide on in here too if we need. Yeah, oh, yeah, it might help the camera. There'll be a lot more light in there. Cool. Um. Dude, dude help us find another place, man. We want to get a house. I'm <laughs> trying to get a house. I, well, houses are a little hard to come back. I know. They, how big's the voucher? Two bedroom. No, three bedroom. It goes up to a three bedroom. I think you get it to a nine or a thousand. Did you you actually get the three bedroom voucher yet? I can. All I gotta do is request it. And we just haven't me, done none of that because we haven't found the Do people are like, oh, we tried to find other places and they're like, we need her credit score. She don't work or nothing. How the fuck does she have a midnight asking for a yeah, no, because, because you're a current tenant, you might be like sloppy. That's what I was thinking. It's two. So, no. no. Okay. Uh, just the furnace. The furnace closet. Just gotta get the shotgun in that closet. I, that closet. I just wanted to hide it because I know how you guys are um, about bad for him to get to the furniture. But I'm just being honest. Just cool snag it. Yeah. Hey, you have to move your speaker. It's in a bag and stuff. It's legal. You'd probably just take a picture of it. Take a look. If you want, I can move that stuff out of it. It's just a little nope. box and a stick. I just need the okay. dog wood. And it is the furnace. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I know it's a little beat up in here, but five well, years. Yeah, it's not that bad. Five years, dude. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. Thank you so right, much. Thank you guys. Yeah, yeah. we can hit the door if we don't get out of here. But like I said, yeah, we've been trying to. We just didn't want to get one until we had a place. To I don't think if you have one, I don't think it's going to affect the two bedroom voucher, but I don't know for sure it's a double check. Yeah, we can find out. But if you can, if you can be here and still have a voucher and right. give you that time frame to kind of upgrade. Right. So we, we looked, bro. We found so many places, and they want like so much shit from her. And it's like, dude, that makes no sense. Well, yeah, because you know, to them, she's a new tenant. Right. To us. Yeah. yeah. Transfer. Yeah. 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 We're so yeah, we'll leave until we find something with you guys. And I don't stick with all mine. Yeah, let me know. Keep, you guys. keep an eye on the uh, website and shit. Oh, and, uh, yeah. If you see something, I'll look into it. And if we can okay. make something happen, we will. Cool, man. I appreciate Thank you guys. guys. Thank no you guys. Thank you. Take it easy, Absolutely. man. Be safe. Dude. Thanks, man. Yep. yep. You should be good to just go in. I told her we were going to knock and go. Just go in? Just go in. Yeah, no, I told her we were just going to knock and come on in. Hello? Okay, just making sure you were ready for real me. Quick. Hey. It'll be real quick. Especially since my battery's about to die. Okay. And then, are we able to get in this closet for the furnace? Yeah. They gotta show like the I cereal just, and all that stuff. I don't wanna mess with your stuff. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. That thing, I think they have to refill it or something. And then the, the um... Okay.
I'll con if you haven't been contacted yet, I would maybe try to follow up with them or just do a new one. And that'll push it to the top of the list. But typically a plumber will take care of that pretty quick. But I would say, yeah, if you haven't been contacted, just report it again. And they'll get a handle for you. Mm -hmm. and I just got to do the bedrooms and we're good. Just the bedrooms. I just didn't want to walk and film them on accident. Try not to get you. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much. Where did you go? Ah, okay. All right, thank you. Thanks, guys. You guys have a good one. So, yeah, have, you guys had, later, have you guys had issues with anybody, like, not wanting you guys to record in their apartment? Yeah, oh, yeah. Dude, what do you guys do in that situation? They have no choice? Just tell them, hey, you were notified. And, right. You know. mm -hmm. I mean, we get what we can if they get combative or like right. See, we try to do everything you guys want, man. We try to be cool because we know you that's probably deal with ask. assholes, you know. That's all we, yeah, that's so it's nothing serious, with. dude. I mean, if you really don't want them recording your apartment, like, what do you have to hide? If yeah, you're right, embarrassed, right, you should right. take care of your shit. I get a lot of people who are like, "Don't go in that bedroom." I'm like, yeah. "All right, dude, you growing weed in there?" Right, right. Yeah, I don't you get shit. At it. It's, weed's legal now. Dude. Yeah, yeah, right. Do so now, just let me film it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. So, all right. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.